Oui, Andy. Oui, mate. Welcome to part two. We're joined by Andy. Hey, uh, Andy, before we start, <clears throat> the Derek Chisora incident, did you hear it? Yeah. What do you think to that? Um, disappointed, eh? Um, yeah. Comments like that, the, he's going to make himself look racist. If he's, it's not the kind of thing you joke about, is it? So... Well, it's 11 seconds, that video, and I played it a couple of times on here. And yeah. every time it's gone out, they've mo muted it, YouTube. And comments. Right. One, the one where mm. I put it out on thumbnail, the comments are all disabled. So, yeah. obviously, we're not allowed to say anything about it, so we'll leave it at that. But I just think he's punch drunk. I don't think he's like that, no. I think they're just no. too controversial, but sometimes they go too far. So, I'm not going to go in... Go to be on. honest, I was I was surprised they came out with something like that, you know. So it's like, well, if Carl Froch came out with something like that, or Peter Fury, what do you think could happen? Oh, they'd be lambasted all the media, wouldn't it? Front no, no, news. Be on those at ten, wouldn't it? All right, so mm. Derek Chisora, disappointing. Right, uh, Big Malk sat behind his big desk, puffing coolly on a large yeah. cube and putting contracts on people. Big gun runner. Big <laughs> Malk, where's your part two in Nigel Ben? Oh, it was be out Saturday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday. What well, we on Tuesday? Uh, quarter to ten at night. Tuesday. Where where is it, Big Malk? I've been told to take it down. That's where it's gone, mate. They've had it out by now. Uh, is I, this the one Nigel wanting to slap everybody? Is he? Yeah. Well, what's happened is Matt Chumman probably said, "Connor, have a way with your old man." You know, it's just getting stupid now. Every time you all open your mouth, you just show us up. And he'd have rung him up. And to be fair, if he's took it down, fair enough. I've had the same situation myself with a couple of people. And you've got to, they own the rights, don't they? If you want to get on, you've got to take it down. So fair enough. But Big Malk, what he should have done, you see, instead of showing off, going in his phone book, oh, I know people that talk sport. Look what interview I've got. You should have just put it out, Big Malk. Because damage has already been done. We're just showing that little snippet. That was probably all he had anyway. But it looked to me yeah. like a pure lick beast. Wasn't it, Big Malk? <laughs> were you going on about how you had made him and all that? Listen, Nigel Ben fought stiffs before he got in with Michael Watson and got took out with a jab. Pop, pop, bang. Yeah. Fought stiffs. You know what I mean? Utter stiffs. So, but he's not for me, him. I've met him in real life. He's a sullen bully. Isn't that right, Nige? Hey, eh? Sullen bully. Really disappointed. We're really disappointed. Really dis I'm really disappointed. Some people might say, oh, he's one of the lads and this and that, blah, blah, blah. Well, whatever. But I didn't get that when I met him and a few other people didn't get that. Unless we just got him on a bad night. Keep your mouth shut and let your son get on with his career. And my argument is this, and you go read all the comments on Big Malk's video, nobody's buying it, are they no more, this adverse buying You failed two dope tests. Why are you going around carrying off like that with attitude? You know when you fail a dope test? You go cap in hand, don't you? Hey? But he failed two, didn't he? Where's Dylan White now? He zipped his pie all up on here and gone back to Portugal, and he's Dylan White. I don't know. He's a new disappearing man. Who is? Oh, Dylan White, the disappearing man, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the disappearing can man. Yeah. Uh, couldn't, or couldn't, couldn't man. <laughs> could have done that. Like. What do you think to uh, Daddy Don coming out with all them cheating accusations against our man who said? What do you think to that, Andy? That's embarrassing. I mean, surely a man has stature and he's been around boxing a long time I assume uh, he should recognise Usyk for what he is you know he's a he's a modern day legend isn't he well Daddy Don were running about saying that Chisora beat Usyk first time wasn't he because he were, he were training <laughs> <wasn't he? laughs> Don right. you, you got that job with Daniel the Bar Don let's have it right because he'd been up against Usyk and you were supposed to have had inside knowledge 
And you were running around, weren't you, Don, saying the way to beat Usek is head movement. Well, I didn't see. Well, I didn't <laughs> see. I didn't see any head movement from your man, desperate Dan. No one man with the head movements bricked up. <laughs> <laughs> He's dodging punches from ringside. Isn't he? Get me the emails, George. <laughs> Ring tops finished that. Ring tops finished, did he really? I mean, let's have it right. Eddie Hills has given the run around now for a decade, haven't you, right? A good decade longer. But when you've yeah. got Tony Bellew piping up, giving it you, and what did he say? Tony, you're a hater. Tony's all things macho. I can assure you, if uh, Daniel Dubois were with macho, Tony would be saying it with a low blow now, wouldn't he? Pop, pop, bang. <laughs> but Boots on other foot in it now. Brick tops on outside looking in. They're not defending WBC belt, are they? With the big fella, Tyson Fury, right? So that's not getting defended. Tyson's got a two fight deal with Young Garn or so. He could just have them fights and disappear. He might even find a boxing ring again now. He might just go to other stuff because he's he's that way inclined, isn't he? Now he's a big star. Uh, and do you think the second fight will happen? Yeah, listen. If he gets paid on that first one, and there's nah. enough co there's enough controversy, they'll have the father there in the corner and Mike Tyson in the other corner. And listen, <laughs> they've got it all figured. Listen, they get it, don't so they? Ty mate. Tyson and his dad get it, don't they? Right. Ah, well, yeah, yeah. They're not daft, are they? They yeah, give us yeah. something to talk about, don't we? But let's have it right. They can't lie straight in bed. But they get it, don't they, this PR thing. But let's yeah. have it right. Who got Tyson in that position when he was dead and buried? Peter Fury put him where he is. Yeah. Peter Fury got him that world title shot against Vladimir. So mm -hmm. and they've they've gone on, they've gone from strength to strength, but you won't believe anything they said. If it were raining outside, you could hear it rain. You say, well, it's probably like outside. And Tyson went over, sat back down. Whatever he said, you won't believe. You'd have to get up your stand, wouldn't you? And have a look. <laughs> but uh, look, good luck to him. If they give him brick top run around, fair enough, because he's given everybody run around years. There were Hearns and they the Warrens. Them. The Hearns and the Warrens have lined the pockets for years, and they're not giving us what we want. They talk about undisputed. All roads lead to undisputed. Now they're talking well. If also if we get this rematch and Usek says no, number one and number two are going to fight for that belt. So then we've got another world champions. Then we're going to have three world champions when we're trying to get one. Could yeah. you imagine if they did it with Champions League at football? If there were another couple of Champions League leagues, like with darts, it'd be embarrassing. We're like what Ernst done with darts. Two lots of darts commissions, isn't there, or whatever? Or is there one now? I don't know, but point I want to make is all roads lead to undisputed. Their words. They could have had it with yeah. Wilder Joshua. The Hearn could make it. Oh, there's a problem with money. There's millions at stake here. Wilder's from nothing. Joshua's from nothing. Millions of pounds on table at Wembley. But it's not good enough for everybody involved. Am I, 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 I saying right things here? Is 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 anybody is everybody listening to me? Are we all listening here? Millions of pounds at stake. Wilder and Joshua are undefeated fighters, and they couldn't get it on. But they told us the winner of Vladimir Joshua, it's undisputed. In Fury were undefeated. No undisputed. That that's gone. It ain't gonna happen. Yeah. So when they talk now about undisputed, people don't give it airtime. Just say. Whatever, because bricked up on Wednesday said Tyson and Usyk undisputed February. His words when they have the fight, then at the weekend. Now they're talking rematches and people getting stripped if this doesn't happen and that doesn't happen. It's all getting fragmented. Yeah, and we're we're about think, here, aren't we? Look to here, here. Yeah, it's depressing for fans, isn't it? I mean, I think if they ever get undisputed, if it ever happens. As soon as it happens, the belts are going to get fragmented anyway, aren't they? So, you really want to, whether it's for the belts or not for the belts, you want to see Usyk Fury because they're the two top num top uh, fighters, aren't they? So, in the heavyweights, so to me, it doesn't matter about the belts. So you just want to see the best fight the best. Andrew, I just want to talk about something positive instead of being negative. 
if I do if I do so at home uh, and I've got my kids to go, oh he's off. Me and dad, stop dad. Not Eddie Earls, not Big Top. <laughs> not John Coffey. <laughs> please, please, <laughs> please, boss, leave the lights on. It reminds me of something I'll pass up with more than years ago <laughs> on basic. <laughs> <laughs> eating our cereals at night even though we're, they're for breakfast in the morning because they give you cereal your breakfast at night so they don't have to feed you ah. not, not in the morning you see it's all about manpower in it nowadays in prison you get your breakfast at night now in jail with a carton of milk crazy uh, I want to talk about something positive but while ever I keep getting these emails that I keep getting and we're, we're down to about 40 a day now while ever I'm getting ones like that it's no wonder I'm like I am, isn't it? It's no wonder I'm like I am. When I say, Cameron, why are you sending me this? I don't want to see stuff like that. Oh, sorry. Send me good ones. Well, there isn't any good ones. <laughs> There's two good, two good ones. Oh, four this morning. The rest of them are like, what are they going to do to me? They slice me up. <laughs> it's, like I said, it's any wonder I turned out like I did. Uh, the media, I keep digging them out, don't I? Coogan, I dug him out over day now. It's me pal. It's a pal of mine. It's me pal. <laughs> Coogan, start asking questions. And you, Gad, Gad, you're a strange one, you, Gad. Calling me, <laughs> calling me Pugsy. We'll see you when I bump into Pugsy. you. You know when I get all of you, Gad? Gad, you know when I get all of you, Gad? You know they used to call me 20 years ago, God, the arm specialist. And they get you in headlock, all 11 clem of me. <laughs> and I'm going to pluck like a chicken. I get you in Boston <laughs> Stranglehold. I'm going to pluck it all out. That's my, that's my party piece when I start, kid. The pluckinator. See, a bold guy there. Eh? The bold. All in top, it. part. I'm going to leave you with a bit on back like Hulk Hogan. <laughs> Mac Miller, the comedian, he's got the bald head and the long hair, hasn't he? Who? Mac Miller, the comedian. Yeah, Remember him? He's, he's all right. Him. He's all right. Uh, ah, Louis, he's all right. Yeah. He's all right. Louis Pavon, he, uh, the same, ah, the Brick Top said, there were an incident in, in second Joshua fight with your body shot. Well, I, I saw an incident and I saw Joshua hit him low and referee warned him and it was low. That were it. Nice. Brick Top's talking like it's some major thing. Because that's when Brick Top gets under pressure because Umar had him on hook. He had him on hook, you know, Umar. <laughs> Umar had him. And Brick Top was slivering away like a swordfish. Right? Hey, yeah, and there were an incident. We, uh, we, we, uh, Joshua and uh, who second, he, he, he's got a glass belly and this and that and blah, blah, blah. And he's always had problems with body shots. Well, look, who second, 21 and 0. 14 by way of, undisputed at Cruiser, unified at every way, but apparently he can't take your body shot. Well, <laughs> I can assure you, he probably can. He probably can, but even Usyk might you know, look like he's ruffled and that, but the guy's not been beat and he's not been down yet and they don't class that as a knockdown for the day, do they? Yeah. So, but all of a sudden, he's got problems taking body shots. Well, if people want to fight Usyk now, they think that's the game plan. Do they think he's not ready for that? Do they think he ain't going to be ready? <sighs> Come on. Rick, Rick Top's having a straw clutching face, isn't he? He's clutching at straws continually. Let me ask you this, Andy. If you're Mr. Dubar, right, you've got your son, big six foot six, big punching, abominable snowman with feet in treacle, right? If that's your son, would you put him in a rematch for you say after what's just happened? Yes or no? No. What would you do? Would you go back to domestic level and rebuild? Yeah, go back and rebuild them, eh? Maybe uh, step back down. Maybe even look for the Joyce rematch if Joyce gets beaten. What if and, Joyce uh, loses against Zhang? That fight's so always there, isn't it? Yep. They could have that That'd as a final, a final eliminator, couldn't they? And go get try yeah. and get back into position or or fight for a European or an interim belt or whatever. But I see Joyce... Has, has, got... has Dubai ever had the British title? 
think he might have that British title, yeah. I think he might have, but I'm not yeah. sure. But uh, I just look at it like this, right? If he goes back in there with Hugo Sanchez, yeah. He might get finished off altogether. He might be damaged goods, real damaged yeah. goods. You know, like Luchin Bute when he fought the Cobra. Yeah, I think he smashed him. You think what? Because uh, Usyk now knows he's been in one mess. So he's, I think Usyk would smash him quicker the next time because he's been in one already. So, and he's got the uh, hand mentally as well as um, boxing ability. So, I think Dubai. There's no way Dubai be ready to go back in one. Did you see Bricktop pull that video out from rules meeting with referee? With the what meeting, sorry? Oh, is it this in the in the dressing room beforehand? Yeah, did you see him pull the video out in the interview? No, he had it on a phone, no. somebody filmed it. Daniel seen Dubois. It out yet. No. Daniel Dubois talking. To referee, you know, they're explaining them. Don's asking questions. To be fair, Don and Charles asking questions. But they're only going to ask things to try and gain an edge, you know, about 06 belt and all that. There's nothing else they could talk about, really. But he didn't look to me like the referee did anything wrong. So all that hula balaba or whatever they call it, all that nonsense about, yeah, well, that is what he said at rules meeting. I couldn't make out it were all distorted and that. But they're going to have to come at and they're going to have to go after an appeal with something a bit stronger than that to go a no contest, which has never happened. It's never happened in boxing, that. Nobody's ever had it into it. You know, like somebody, if you win 1-0 in a football match, they're not just going to reverse the decision. The decision's made. So that's never happened. So the, the best they can hope for is a rematch, and I don't think they're going to get that, because Eddie and Callum are going to push for Ergaby, can't they? Yeah. Or step aside, buddy. It's got to be Hergovic next, isn't it? Yeah. Or step aside money for him. It's got to be Hergovic. I don't... He said he'll not take it. Hey, but then money talks, doesn't it? It's, it's easy him saying that. He could just be saying that to get the price put up or step aside. Listen, desperate men, desperate people do desperate things in desperate times. Now, Bricktop is on the back foot, in my opinion. He might say he's not. Listen, you're on back foot and you know it. So you've got to roll the dice with the bar. And now they're going to go into battle if they get that fight with the same trainer. Because if it, if it mm. doesn't work out again and it's trainer's fault or he doesn't have a good... If there's a problem, it's too late then once because that opportunity is gone. So that's why I think if they do get the rematch, he'll be gone, him, Don Charles. If they don't get the rematch, he'll stay. Because they'll yeah. get, an easy, get him a few easy wins. Stay with him because they look like they sort of like get on, don't they? But... He wouldn't surprise me if he went. Big Malt was supposed to be uh, working with him, money with him. With Don Charles, am I right? He's maybe the top, his top advisor, is he? Well, Big Malt wants him Poland, but he? Big Malk. No saying I'm there, no. We didn't see him there, so who got rid of Big Malt? Big Malt, you're quiet on that one. Did you get sacked or were you pushed? <laughs> oh, my ruthless. <laughs> Big Malt definitely in the back foot. He wouldn't be going about continually raging. At... Big Malt, let me tell continually you. Continually raging everywhere he goes, isn't he? Big Malt made a mistake, didn't he? Sending me a, a, a contract like that to fight him. Big Malt, get his professional boxer. Sending me contracts when I've just got out of prison. And then going out on your social media saying that I'm not really in Turkey having life saving surgery. Now I went for these done, kid. And uh, obviously I collapsed in a first time I went out of there. So you got that one wrong, didn't you, didn't you big mouth? Then you sent me a contract. I got Peter DeFratus, you know, Nigel Benz, uh, ex-manager who's worked with Don King, Frank Warren, Eddie, Eddie Ern's dad, and Mark Marion. Yeah. I'll get him to dissect this contract. And basically, what it said were, if I said anything about Big Malk on social media... I'd have to give him X amount of money and all this bloody bar. Listen, <laughs> you, won't get, you won't get a penny out of me, but you were offering me 20 grand to fight you, big mouth. It's only a few months ago you were having, they were having a whip round for you on OnlyFans or something, innit? <laughs> it got 20 pence. 
<laughs> I can buy and sell you, big man. What I've got in here? Oh, I had that ride back. I had that. Uh, uh, I had some money in here, didn't I? A bit like for the I've spent it on cover. For that John Fury thing, do you know where uh, when I said if anybody's got footage of John Fury uh having a bare knuckler, send me footage and I'll give you a thousand pounds. Not right. one person in the whole wide world <laughs> any money. And do you know what? I'd forgot about it. Anyway, I've done it in. <laughs> oh, you probably have got more money than me if you've got 20 pence, big mal. <laughs> Was he going to give you 20 grand and then uh, gradually claw it back every time you said something about him on, uh, on YouTube? <laughs> yeah. This is how much I got to him. I'm living in the rents. Isn't that right, Big Mal? <laughs> pop, pop, bang. Rent I'm, going to, I'm going to rinse Big Mal because I feel better about myself after I've rinsed him. But to be fair to him, he actually does talk sense sometimes, but not all the time. You see, this low blow thing, they've all lost their shit over it, haven't they? Big Mal. Spencer Oliver and the rest of them. You know why these people are losing the shit over it? Don Charles and all that. Because they need it. What are they what are they gonna do? What's Don Charles gonna do if he gets dropped? He's gotta go back to the drawing board and he's only just got his sent into position after Chisora got rid of him six times. You know, if your wife left you six times, you won't keep taking her back, would you? <laughs> get your stuff and get good. Just throw it out at the door, won't you? Close. Go now while you still can love. That's what you do, <laughs> don't you? What's Big Malt going to do if he upsets Bricktop? There's no room at the inn, is there, at the shows? So it's got to be nice, hasn't it? He's running a YouTube That's channel. It. Mr. T works for one of Big Malt's fighters, Anthony Yard, doesn't he? Yeah. Right. So it's got to be nice. Got to be nice. But when Big Malt went at Sky, he had plenty to say, didn't you, about Bricktop, didn't you, Malt? Do you think Bricktop doesn't know that, Big Malt? Bricktop knows all that, doesn't he? He's not He'll stupid. He's just He'll gonna memory like an elephant. He's just going <laughs> to let you go running around on your channel saying it's a low blow, it's a low blow. You're like an air bomb repeater. It's a low blow, it's a low blow, it's a low blow. <laughs> Talking like you know what you're on with when really, deep, deep, deep down, you know it was a low blow. You know it wasn't a low blow. Brick, but Bricktop will be sending them photos of his pigs, won't he? <laughs> Quieting them down. Be very careful <laughs> about anybody who keeps pigs in allotments, Andrew. That's it. <laughs> hey, pigs are beautiful creatures. Lou Debella's got one. He sent me a picture of it. Lou yeah. Debella's got a pig, you know. He takes it in pub and everything. Aye. Uh -huh. My pal used to have a couple of pigs years ago, pot belly ones. Where, uh... Don't be, uh... don't, what's the word? Don't be surprised if you see Lou Bella with his pig in a pub. If anybody who goes to, goes to that end of America. In fact, if you think I'm joking, tweet Lou, Lou Bella. I said, Lou, Porky says you've got a pig. And Lou will get you a picture out of him with his pig. Hey, pigs are sensitive creatures, you know. Yeah. Mm. I think they're quite close to humans DNA wise, are they not? Because I don't know somebody had a, a pig's heart transplanted into them a while back. Yeah, listen, yeah. do you know what? Do you know what? Eddie Hardy, who flogged Campbell Latin in amateurs, his dad's got a pig farm down here. South or Eddie Hardy, he can punch. We flogged Campbell yeah. Latin, I got talking to him. He was all oh, porky, aren't you? Like, yeah, no, my dad's got a pig farm or something. Oh, is he? I was impressed. I should have gone down there. You know, I should have done some filming in my wellies. But we don't want to go sifting through pig shit now, do we? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you like that big top quote, Andy? Oh, I like that one, aye. That's a good one. I need to watch that film again. I've not seen it for years, eh? Yeah. Uh, what do you think to uh, Savannah signing a deal with MMA, chasing close Shields down? Is she, aye? Is she going to be... Going to enter the cage with Shields, or planning on doing that? That could be interesting. I'm shocked like at that because a few years ago she tried it, and I said, "What do you think?" And I was sat with Frank Smith and Jim at Peter, and she went, "She said she didn't like it, and it ain't for her." Mm. 
I said, all right. So I don't know. I don't know what's happened since then. Maybe there isn't anybody for to fight at boxing. And she just wants to get a few quid. I don't know. I was shocked. A new challenger. Um, yeah, well, she's... Yeah, she's that uh, type of kid, I suppose, that she likes a challenge. But I was shocked because if I were advising her, I'd say, you're a boxer, aren't you? Why would you want to do that? Just keep defending your title and picking up decent-ish money. You're always going to be on the telly. So why would you want to do that sport? I don't know, but if she's, if she's started doing it and got better at it, good luck to her, but I would prefer to do a boxing, but it's not up to me. It's up to her, isn't it? I don't know. Yeah. What do you think? It's not something I've watched much as MMA. I've watched, I've watched occasional fights, but I prefer boxing. I'm just the uh, old school. I prefer traditional boxing, but... Um, so you'll get you'll get good fights and bad fights the same as you will in boxing, I suppose. Some of them are just grab on about in the floor, aren't they? But uh, some of the high highlight reels are impressive, but I've I've just never really I've just never got into it. It's never something that's I've got hooked on, but I stick with boxing. Yeah. Uh what time it is. Right. Uh Dave Allen against its big freeze on Saturday. Who was going to win? Uh, I'd like to see Dave Allen do well, but I've got a feeling big freeze will win on points or something like that. Down the stretch. I'm going, um, to, be con I'm going to be controversial in my prediction here. I don't think Dave Allen's been active enough to yeah. compete with Olympic medalists. Who's his, who's his age and I've got as many miles on the clock. But I think he'll have moments in the fight where it might trouble him. Yeah. But it's big freeze. But yeah. I think when, when all said and done, we're talking about an Olympic bronze medalist. If Dave Allen beats an Olympic bronze medalist, seven and old guy, it says a lot about the standard of amateur boxing, doesn't it? You think? Yeah. I think uh, I think big Fraser, big freeze will play it safe. He'll just I think he'll try and just box within himself, any at range, maybe. I think I can see him try to do that. But uh I can see Dave having a go the first three or four rounds and will he tire a bit after that due to inactivity, maybe? Will he what? Um, tire a bit after due to inactivity. Maybe fade a bit after the midway point, maybe. Well was what, that a ten round fight. I think it would be 10 more, isn't it? You'd have thought, yeah. wouldn't you? I don't know. Yeah. What, I don't know how they're going to play it, but... I don't, want to, I don't want to see him get knocked to bar. No, no. It's um, difficult to know where Dave's going to be at, isn't it? Because, because you've not seen him at any decent level for so long. It's, he's, he's kind of almost like an unknown quantity, even though he's been about for years, eh? but... Wait, so oh, it's intriguing. It. You what? I'm saying it's an intriguing fight, so I'll watch it. It's intriguing. Yeah, I suppose, because you don't know what Dave's going to turn up, do you? Yeah. You know? So, I don't know. I'm glad he's got a shot, like, at, at getting back in mix, but I don't think he's grabbed it with both hands, really. I don't know. <laughs> You'd have thought, really, he'd have trained hard this last four years since David Price. It's been like 50 months since he bought David Price and he's had four fights. What's that, one every 12 and a half months? That's not good enough. Yeah, about that, yeah. Yeah. That's not good momentum going into the... And there were all four guys that didn't have winning records. Yeah. You know, so it's not Spartan the right session, preparation, really. is it, Andy? Eh? No, nah, it's just like sparring sessions, isn't it? Yeah, that's basically what it is. It's uh, I, I don't know, but uh, I'm sure that Dennis will be happy getting him getting him uh, on a on a Sky show. Dennis, is a bit just like hope he's Tom. getting well paid. I'm sure, I can assure you, Dennis will be. It's like you got Tommy Frank on that Eddie show. Then the Denny Silver getting his slice at five. Won't you be wrong? <laughs> Ready? 
Uh, Tommy Frank didn't last long in that uh, in that fight, did he? So, oh, white collar Tommy. Yeah. <laughs> well, <laughs> what are we going to say? Tommy's pound for pound, the white collar level guy. Aye. Oh, his his trainer knows it. That's why he threw a towel in. Yeah. Who throws a towel in? Right in round one after a minute when your your you headline act. What's that about? Headline act. It's supposed to be 50 50 yeah. fights, aren't they? And towels coming yeah. in. Right. I've only ever seen that in Bone Crush Smith fight against Tim Witherspoon. And Tim Wither Tim Witherspoon were telling everybody in Sheffield a few years ago when he was Dennis Hobson's minor that he threw the fight against Bone Crush Smith. So uh. Well, well, but yet people are still hanging out at the back of him. Do you think I'd want to be sat next to somebody who threw a fight? Nah, See, you threw a fight, it. you prick. Go away from me. Uh, so, no credibility then, eh? That's it. I know that's pretty harsh from somebody like me who's carried off like I've carried off in my youth, but I think it's it's some it's on English, isn't it? It's something that you want doing. It's like a football match. It, somebody to throw a football match, a player. I'd, some of my pals have been professional football players like these here won't listen. I don't like that, man. They just hate people like that. You yeah. know? It's fine when I say it. It's just... It's just uh, I don't like all like that because I like I just, the sport to be pure of myself, mate. Yeah, I kind of get my head drained. It's like, it's like uh, drug cheats and all. Any, any kind of cheating or whatever it is, it's just wrong. It's just... But, you know, if you, want to, if you want to go nick a brand new range of and bring it around there, you can strip it. <laughs> <laughs> Giving wheels off it and engine. No, seriously, mate, it's a bad thing, isn't it? Aye. Match, yeah. match fiction and stuff like that. I'm big Aye. on punishing people like that if they've got proper evidence. Yeah. If there's just any, corruption, isn't it? If there's reasonable doubt, you got to let them off. But I don't like it. I don't like anything like that whatsoever. Not in boxing. Man. No, I couldn't. I've never heard anything about all that like in boxing. I always used to. Ask Dennis about it all the time when we were pissed and that. When I have got him at a weak moment, I say, "Come on, Dennis, was it? <laughs> you know that that when a big fight." And he, I get all sorts out of Dennis, but never all like that. I won't, because he knows how I feel about stuff like that. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. But hey ho, uh, we'll finish off on this one then. Billy Joe Saunders against John Ryder. Does it happen? Uh, I'll believe it when I see it. I, yeah. I've, I've not seen Billy Joe Saunders lately on anything, is he? Unless he's lost about four stone in weight, he's uh, in, in the time I've seen him since the last time I've seen him on media. Uh, I don't see him doing anything, no. No weight loss. People keep asking me about weight loss. I'd like to think I'm a bit of an expert, wouldn't you? Mm -hmm. Losing 19 stone nine in 10 years. Obviously, I've put a couple of stone back on since I went too far. I can do everything I do. I used to sit at night when I was far and I'd do two big dairy bilks, you know, big ones, and two quid yeah. ones, big slaps, two pints of full fat milk. I didn't have shakes in them days. I replace it now with a diet shake and fruit. You just have to have that little full feeling in your tummy. It's all about mindset. You know, when you go to the gym and you train hard, if you eat correctly, you see the difference. Mickey Theo told me that. You can't go to the gym and then go to the pub. You don't wait no. all that. Because you think, yeah, it's only a pint. It does damage. It does, honestly, damage. It does damage you. So quit smoking, quit taking drugs, quit drinking, and quit eating loads of rubbish and eat healthy. And don't forget That's to brush good. your teeth every night like your Uncle Porky. Because we must whip Mr. Tooth Decay. <laughs> Stay away from the chip shop. <laughs> hey, I'll tell you what, mate. You know what I fancied earlier today? Addock and peas. You know, a small addock and peas. I just had that. Went by this chip shop and I was like, and when you go buy it, oh, yep. I guess she gives you that. Mm. You know, and you just want to, because when I want to eat, I just go and I go, fish, chips and peas, and a big, massive bread cake. Make sure you put butter on top and bottom, I used to say. I get all the chips. I'll squash them into a bread cake. <laughs> squash it down, cut it into four, devour that. And then I'll set about the addict with peas. I'll mix it all up and deal with that. 
And then I'd, I'd go, oh, God, I wish I'd have put a pickled onion on that, though. <laughs> I thought it was all cod down your way. We got, it's all haddock up here, but uh, is it not mainly cod down your way? Yeah, but I, I, prefer, I, like, haddock. I prefer haddock, like, but yeah, it's cod haddock. chips, like, cod, cod's it's bigger, isn't it? A cod's bigger than haddock, isn't it, obviously? Bigger. I prefer, yeah, it's bigger. I prefer, I prefer haddock, but... But yeah, I, what, what, you, do they have haggis up your, your way as well? I guess I, I had haggis all night for my tea, Saturday night, tea of champions. <laughs> well, Fish Pond in Edlow, Fish Pond in Edlow, years ago, years ago, used to sell haggis. Aye, I, I guess suppers, yeah. And I, I've got pals up from from the area who've been boxers and they used to have it because Bruce Woodcock used to eat it. Now years ago, I guess it's a good meal. Yeah. But, do you get it in the chip shop? Do they batter it in the chip shop down with you? Well, it's shut now, that chip is so, and I don't go chip shops anyway now. I, uh, the, the car, if you've had a gastric band, the Cardinal said it's chips. You kill yourself if you eat chips. If you've had a gastric chips, very, right. very dangerous. Most dangerous chips you can have at McDonald's, stuff like that, very dangerous. So right. I'll tell you, I stay away from fried food, but uh, if I if I have sure. this, I don't. You could have a single haggis, I suppose, eh? No chips. Yeah. Yeah, well, uh, yeah, I suppose I could like, but I prefer uh, I have a I have a bit of fish like I like fisherman's pie, I like that. Yeah, fisherman's pie or mince meat. Do you ever make? Do you ever make kedgeri? What's that? Kedgeri is uh, like smoked haddock, rice, peas. Um, you can put onions. You can make it any way you want. You put onions and that in it as well, yeah. and uh, other bits and pieces. That's nice. Eggs as well. I nice. like scrambled eggs or rice. Smoked haddock. Uh, that's, that's a good healthy meal. Right? That's good. Well, I'll tell you what I'll do. Next time I nick some red diesel from here, I'll fill my ultra up and I'll come up and see you. And you can make me you do that. That's about that. It's about a 10 hour drive, isn't it? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay. Right, listen, thanks for coming on, Andy. Good you've man. Gen- you've been a gentleman. Uh, what time is it? 10.21. I'll get these uh, up now. I've got some uh, thumbnails. I'll get these up now. We'll get these out tomorrow. I think they've had loads out me this month. We're, we're pushing for 150. Oh, we're going to push for 150 videos for August. I'm never going to ever going to do this ever ever again. It's nearly killed me. But I hope you've all enjoyed them all. I like to have a bit of a giggle on here. Okay, dokie. Pardon? It's been it's been material last month to begin. So. Yeah, yeah. Uh, don't forget to like and subscribe, everybody. Don't forget to like and subscribe and leave a comment and press the notification button because you get your porky fix straight to your phone. All right? Peace out. You take care, Andy. Good man, Russ. All right. the best. Mate. Right. Cheers. Well, that was Andy from Aberdeen. I hope you've all enjoyed the uh, video. I'll upload these now, then I'm going to jog on. All right. Peace out. Let's hope the storyline is changing in the next few days. All right. Pop, pop, bang.